Hi Aries, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Today we have your own reading and we have several oracle cards here for you guys, right? We do to assist us in the story. Yes, we do. And so, you know, we have this Queen of Cups showing up right here. And this is really the Queen of Vessels, right? And this talks about sometimes seduction or uh, major attraction to somebody. It's really, an, uh, really kind of an interesting mm -hmm, virtue, kindness, simplicity, a caring individual. I feel like there's somebody here that you think is like wonderful. Yeah, maybe it's a water sign, but I feel like you feel like somebody's really wonderful. You're struggling though. You have the eight of arrows energy and the generosity. This is the nine of cups or vessels. Uh, I feel like you probably feel like this person is very kind of like generous and like a good person. And over here, I feel like you are struggling because I feel like you are denying yourself this person because we have memento mori and i believe this is italian but this is there might not be a someday mori is like to die like it's the same in spanish it's similar right muero or muerte mori right here there might not be a someday and they're showing you know uh the skeleton face and so i feel like you're thinking about going after somebody but you never do it and so it kind of that's how it looks aries right but so there might not be, they might not be around forever. I feel like that's, and you might know that. You might be thinking, well, if I take forever, they might have somebody else. Uh, we have sensitivity and somebody's sensitive here. We do. And we have this card, uh, this woman here, your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Maybe you're in a union and you want your independence. I feel like if that's the case, I feel like these cards are kind of telling you that you'll be stronger alone. Yeah, that's kind of what it is. Uh, because there's somebody here that is probably rigid. Uh, this could be somebody. Maybe this is you. You have been rigid, right? We see the crow there, and he's on all these black rocks, right? And how can this be a wonderful win-win? That's what this card is saying, right? And they got the little little gauge here, and, you know, when you win, it goes ding, ding, ding. It's real cute, right? Uh, how can this be a win, a wonderful win-win? I feel like you are trying, that's what's just on your mind. How can this be a win-win? Mm-hmm. And somebody might be real different here. We have this individuality card, right? Let's see what they have to say about that because <clears throat> it's always a lot deeper for, you know, uh, maybe so they can fill the book up, right? <laughs> but let's see here uh, where that... Uh, where, where is that book at? And this is, uh, mm -hmm. well, we might not see it, you guys, because we just might not. We can go back to that card. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see where it is. Yeah, I don't see that card here. Okay, let's keep going, you guys. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so let's see what else we have for you guys. And yeah, I feel like, oh, we have the ear here. Uh, and this is good news. So you have good news coming, Aries, all right? You could be going, God, you're telling me that I'm not going after my love here and that they might not stick around forever. That's basically what I was pretty much saying here. Maybe this is about a job. I don't think it is. I feel like it's about uh, this queen of vessels over here. And we also have the vulture, depression, anxiety, and worry that somebody's against you. <clears throat> maybe it's this person who is like a black crow over here, somebody who's rigid. I just feel like there's two people in this reading, like Snow White and, and you know, and the Wicked Witch, maybe. <laughs> right? And then we have the cobweb protected from negative forces. You feel like somebody's against you here, for sure. I feel like you do. And the ant, work, achievement, and success. So maybe you're doing really uh, well in your work. Maybe you're going to get new good news about your work, you could, mm-hmm, right, so let's see, and <clears throat> let's see what else we have, and, okay, and let's put your oracle, your, your tarot cards down here for Aries, let's see what we have, yeah, <clears throat> this reading is very clear uh, to me, Aries, yeah, don't, nobody, you know, people don't wait forever, 
or they're not available forever, right? Yeah, they move, especially with now, with what they're trying to do. They're trying to, you know, they're trying to stampede this country, number one, at the border. But uh, aside from that, which is a... <clears throat> Which is, people don't really understand what they're trying to do down there, but <clears throat> many people don't. I would say most. But it's because the news is a liar, right? Yeah, that's really what it is. But I feel like somebody here is like, they're not really close to you. I don't know where they're at is my point. I feel like you're not with this person that you really want to be with, but it's going to take courage. And it might take you, like, you might have to stand up to somebody here. Yeah, you might have to. Let's see, there could be kind of somebody who's got a little bit of a bully going on here. It's just rigid or <clears throat> difficult, maybe. And here, let's see with this individual, individuality card, because I have the book. Yeah, I do. I don't lose things. Good God, no. I mean, not usually. And uh, no two snowflakes, snowflakes can ever be the same, just as you are special and unique. This is something to celebrate. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's see what she says here. <clears throat> I have marked one young, one young vampire in a way that is unique, setting her apart from the others. Choosing her symbol is important because it reminds you to reflect on your unique qualities. It also reminds you not to compare yourself to others. Yeah, others may seem happy doing things a certain way, but if you feel as if you're compromising yourself to fit in, don't. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to fit in with somebody here, and that could be your partner. It could be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have for Aries. Show me the energy for Aries, please. For Aries. We have the Ace of Swords. This is your first card. Let's see what else we have. And the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> let's see what else we have for Aries. The Two of Pentacles. Here you are going back and forth about the whole situation here. Two of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles here. You have completions here or things that want to complete. They want, when you're at the nine, it like it wants to go to the ten. Uh, and this is coming into play here. Let's see what else we have. <clears throat> the Six of Cups. Somebody from your past. You're in the Nine of Wands energy, uh, Aries. I hope I didn't say Leo, but I feel like you are like feeling uncertain and unsecure about a victory that you really want with somebody. There could be competition. Five of Wands is here. You might have to be single. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, because we have individuality, but not only that, there's another card here that talks about yeah, this is this card over here. Uh, this can be a wonderful win-win and, you know, memento mori. There might not be a someday. You could be saying to yourself, someday I'm going to return to so-and-so, right? Which is kind of kidding yourself, right? Isn't it? I feel like it totally is. Let's see what we have, Aries. And the Queen of Cups is here. Maybe you're dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the King as well. Wow. And then the Seven of Wands. Okay. And your outcome is the wheel of fortune reversed all right so here you are <clears throat> this is a card of kind of self-protection right and i feel like that's what you are doing there could be somebody here too who like really kind of gets on your nerves yeah somebody who is rigid maybe they're depressed maybe they think you're against them but there's some type of energy here where Somebody feels like they're either against them or someone's against them or, or definitely not on the same page that there's like some negativity going on. Yeah, you're struggling with this. You have the eight of arrows right here. I feel like you really have really been thinking about this about i believe returning to somebody from your past six of cups here <clears throat> maybe there are pisces cancer scorpio maybe they're sagittarius let's see what we have for for aries please we have the queen of wands i feel like that's you unless this is a sagittarian we have the four of pentacles 
Yeah, you, you're really thinking about holding on to somebody here for a victory. And this could be you like feeling insecure and uncertain about a decision. Maybe with the Ace of Swords, sometimes is a decision. Swords are about thoughts. Yes, they are. Words, thoughts, decisions. <clears throat> Let's see what we have in the heart of the matter. Let's cover this up. Let's see what we have in the heart of the matter for Leo, uh, for Aries. Sorry, Leo. I mean, sorry, Aries. <laughs> So we have the Pied Piper here. So there's, it looks like there's some type of deception. Maybe you were, maybe you, this person is kind of a third party that you want kind of, or somebody else on the outside, somebody from your past. Uh, this could be too, you might be afraid to tell somebody here because it might, is possible. We have the Pied Piper. He's telling <clears throat> all these people he's right. He's really kind of misleading them. That's what he's doing. That's what they're doing in this country. With all the lies in the news, people think everything's okay. And uh, go look up Davos. They're at Davos right now, uh, deciding our demise. I'm not kidding, you guys. It's, go look it up and find out what they're talking about. Go to We Are Change. Yeah, on YouTube. <clears throat> They'll tell you for sure. There's a million other people since the news won't. Yeah. But getting back to this, Aries, we have... Uh, here in the heart of the matter, I feel like this is like really painstaking probably to tell somebody that you really want to hold on to somebody here. Maybe you're holding back over here. I don't feel like it's so much about holding back. I feel like this is uh, holding on that you want with somebody from your past. Maybe you want to leave somebody from your past, but it looks like you're coupled like you probably have somebody here, but you want someone else. And the person you're with could be like, just maybe, you know, uh, I don't know, tough, tough Tamra. Just somebody here who's like kind of maybe just domineering. That's enough for me as a Sag. I'm like, oh no, can't have that. And we have the nine of pentacles showing up here. Yeah, you might think it's really hard to tell somebody here that you're leaving, possibly. It's possible you feel like somebody won't believe in you. If, if you like somebody else, the one you want, it's possible that you might think that they possibly they won't believe in you. You might be feeling as that you're maybe that somebody here is telling all your business. It's a possibility here. So let's look here uh, at uh, let's look at your highest expectations first. Uh, this could be what you want, the Two of Pentacles. I mean, this is what you're doing now. You're going back and forth. Let's see here. Let's get another card. Why is that Two of Pentacles here? I feel like you're juggling your, you're juggling. You could be going back and forth. Well, I want this, but next day, well, so-and-so might beat me up. I'm just teasing you guys. Uh, just something. <laughs> Two of cups. See, here you are in love with somebody. Let's see what else we have. Eight of swords. So we have that twice. So we know you feel really stuck and you're struggling with this because we have the eight of arrows here and that is uh, struggle. See, so we have... I feel like you really want to make up your mind, but you're struggling with it. Yeah, wow. And you have fear here. Let's see what else. And the wedding. You're really in love with somebody with this two of cups and this wedding here. Yeah, majorly. Yeah, and that even if you're married to somebody, that's not about that because you're not, it doesn't look like you're happy with somebody. So, and the disaster, here we go. So <clears throat> these are the two situations that you could be like dealing with. Or you want this, you're in love with somebody here. Here they are happily getting married and the kids are here really sweet. Yeah, they are. And they look, they're just really sweet here. Yeah, they're really nice kids here and they are like happy to be there. The flower child is there, the pallbearer, I believe. And so now we have, I think it's the pallbearer. We also have uh, the disaster card where this, 
you know, uh, actually maybe it's not the pallbearer. That's, I feel like that's who kind of holds up something here, but no. But we have these three kids. They're in the wedding. One's the, one's the flower child. Oh, two of them are. Yeah, they are. And the one in the back is, uh, she's holding, uh, she, he's holding his, he's holding the bride's train, right? Yeah, that's what he's doing. So we have the disaster card here and there's two couples. It's a couple that is being, uh, in bondage, right? Held and, uh, held and chained by the devil. And that's the inner, that's the relationship, your relationship you have right now, Aries. It does look like that. I mean, it'd be great to say, I hope not, but it just kind of really looks like that. Uh, I don't really understand why you don't want to just go. That's kind of like, I mean, what's the, right? I feel like making this, this, this decision is uh, a painstaking process for you. I feel like you think somebody's going to really give you a hard time. This could be a reading where you don't want to deal with somebody's anxiety, not anxiety, somebody's aggression. Like, oh, it's not, I don't want to deal with that. Wow. And we have the caring card coming into play. Nine of Pentacles. Get another card here for Aries. And then we have the Justice card. So you look like you're definitely making a decision. I thought we already had Justice in this reading. No? Okay. But you look like you are already making a decision here. I feel like you know, though, that somebody is going to grieve here. Yeah, because we have this card called caring, but it's really about grief. It's about caring, but it's about grief as well. I feel like you, uh, this could be you knowing if you become single for some or independent. We have this card here, independent. You're stronger in your own independence. That's what it's saying. I just feel like, you know, here you are uh, weighing the pros and cons, I feel like, about probably walking away from somebody. I feel like that's what's going on. Let's get one more card here coming into play. And we have the depression card. Yeah, and we have this card over here. The guy's in the cave and the devil's over there on the wall, kind of. He's majorly depressed. And uh, we have this card here, depression, the vulture, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. I feel like this might be you, but I feel like you think that if you decide to walk away from somebody, possibly that they're going to take it really personal. Like, like you just don't like, you, like real, they're going to take it super personal. Like you're being mean to them, but you're really kind of like trying to map out your own future. This could be you f feeling depressed, not making the decision. Yeah. Because in the reading, the oracle cards right here will tell us that it just tells us that you're thinking, how can this be a wonderful win-win? You're thinking that, but down here, I feel like you think if you become single, somebody's going to be depressed over here. Somebody maybe you care about, but somebody you're not in love with. I feel like that's it. So we have the six of cups, and this is energy that could be falling away. Let's get another card. We have the ace of wands reversed. Mm-hmm. So this Ace of Wands reversed. Could maybe you had a breakup with somebody in the past here. But we have two aces already. And I feel like uh yeah, this ace of wands also is in the reverse because this is what you're trying to decide on, a new beginning with somebody. But I feel like it's in the reverse because you haven't really made up your mind yet. Yeah, and now we have the Ten of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. So we can set this here. And, uh, you might be in a family dynamic right now. I feel like you want, you want, I do feel like you want a union with somebody here. Ten of Pentacles. We have the Five of Wands and this is coming soon. So coming into play here, I feel like you, you, somebody could be depressed here because you're making the decision, but for me, you're still making it. And this could be you feeling depressed about it. Yeah, because it just looks like it's, here it is. It's a very painstaking. You're going to cause somebody some pain or it's going to be really painful for you to make this decision with this card. And then we have the five of wands and uh, the disciple and the maestro, right? Or the master. 
And so that's what this is here, right? So here you are learning. You feel really challenged about learning what to do here. Maybe you feel like you're at the, at the student level, kind of. Because the card is more on the student, the disciple. Here he is learning. He's learning to clean these cups or whatever he's, you know, probably for some ritual or something. Let's see what we have. And we have the lover. Yeah, this can be low self-worth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you might be dealing with somebody or somebody could be dealing with low self-worth here, but this is about a lover that you want, I feel like. Uh, and so I feel like you are struggling with this. The five of wands can be struggle, and we see, we see it over here. And we'll get one more card for Aries. Let's get this deck here for Aries. And temperance. You might be dealing with Sagittarius, right? But I feel like you... Uh, may need some healing on your own. I feel like you could be struggling to bring balance to your life. And you are doing really well with your work though, the ant, work, achievement, and success. So we have the queen of cups. Let's see what that queen of cups has to say. The lovers, and this is how other people affect you. You're trying to make this choice, the lovers. Six of Swords, see, to walk away from somebody. Here we go, right here. And the King of Cups is here. This is how you affect somebody else. Maybe your person is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I mean, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Yeah, see, you, this is, you, like, really, this is how you're affecting somebody. Like, you're the one who has to end it here. If you want to move on and get in your boat and leave. And you want this, where's that card? You want the, uh, the queen, where is she? I feel like she's show. yeah, the queen of vessels here. This is just somebody who's really kind of wonderful and somebody who kind of like is a really good friend, somebody who can help you build your life kind of because they build you up and not tear you down. You might be in a situation where you feel like somebody tears you down or it's just so negative. Your hopes and fears is going to be the seven of wands. Let's see what it says. We have the queen of cups again. Yeah, I could definitely be dealing with a water sign here. Uh, we have the queen twice, the king with the queen of vessels is here. And you're hoping here that I feel like, oh, we have the seven of wands twice. Wow, because I have two decks. You're hoping that somebody's not going to fight with you here. Or you're fearing that they're going to do this. Or that they're going to be super like, what's that word? Uh, like they have their chip on, like it's super in defense about this. Because the seven of wands is here twice. Yeah, you're, you're afraid here. You could be hoping to stand up for yourself, but you're afraid this person is going to like, I don't know, spear you down, spear you. Aries, all right, because these wands could be turned into spears. They could. Let's get another card here. <laughs> Maybe by your person. We have the angel. The angel is about wisdom and accepting the truth, typically. I feel like you're hoping this person would accept the truth, but you're afraid that they're going to clobber you or stress your life out to the max, something like that. We have the will of fortune in the reverse. And the tempter, the seducer. And he's tempted by passion and sex, usually. It's the devil. And so this is your outcome here. I feel like you you are just super tempted to leave somebody behind here who is, like, not helping your cause, not helping you in your life at all. A partner's supposed to help you on some level. Yeah, they are. Let's see what else we have. And we have this card here of... The Furies. See? And that's what you're afraid of. This is right above the hopes and fears. Here's a Medusa. And she's spewing these electronic snakes on this man. He's running away. This is you, Aries. You're running away here. And he's afraid because he, he feels guilty. And here she is with her wrath. Yeah. Hell hath uh, no fury than a woman. Yeah. Than a scorned woman. Yeah. Good God. Whoever wrote that was probably got... 
uh, speared, spearheaded, or whatever they call it, right, by their wife or their girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, and this is your. This is this is clear in this reading here that you are so seduced by another situation, but you're staying here with. I don't know what this person is. It's like, I don't know, the Wicked Witch or, you know, I mean, yeah, you're staying here with somebody mean, kind of. Yeah, don't don't hang around mean folks. I can't stand mean people, right? What for? I mean, just because they're unhappy in their life, right? Yeah. We're going to end this reading, Leo. I mean, Aries. Sorry, Aries. I feel like it's a really good reading uh, for you, but you have to take control here uh, of a situation. I feel like you do. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you are being told here uh, by this card here that your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. I feel like you feel like you're in a union for some of you guys and you are lacking foundation for your courage and your success and your strength. I feel like you, that's how you feel. We're going to end this reading, Aries. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.